Hello there everybody and welcome back to Scorpio Tech. In this video we're going to be trying out one of the most popular podcasting and streamer microphones on the market and that is the Shaw SM7DB. And before we go any further, this entire video will be recorded with the SM7DB's microphone. This is a £519 XLR cardioid dynamic vocal microphone that sets itself aside from the SM7B by its built-in preamp, which provides up to 28 decibels of low noise gain, which is ideal for those lower output in interfaces. And yes, it is very expensive, but there is a reason why the SM7B and now the SM7DB are such well-loved microphones. And for this video, I'll be pairing the SM7DB with Shure's small but mighty MVX2U digital audio interface that will convert our XLR signal into USB Type-C. You can also use it for audio monitoring, but I'll come back to that a little bit later in the video. Although it's worth noting that this latest iteration in the SM7B range will work with any XLR interface, which makes getting the ideal audio setup much simpler. Taking a look inside the box, you've of course got the microphone with a pre-installed windscreen, as well as a separate heavier duty windscreen and a thread stand adapter. I'm no audiophile and I'm definitely not going to pretend to be, so I was coming into this blind having only tested a couple of XLR mics previously. The first thing I noticed was the insanely good build quality. Compared to something like the Rode NT-USB Plus that I've been using previously, which still has plastic parts, the SM7DB is over 830 grams of aluminium sturdiness. Next up, I was a bit worried about how complex the setup process might be, and I was very, very wrong. It honestly couldn't have been much easier. I simply connected the microphone into the audio interface via an XLR cable, and from there into a USB Type-C port on my PC. On that note, the mic and audio interface do not come with an XLR cable, so you will need to source one of these separately. But let's get on to what really matters, and that's the audio quality and general sound of the SM7DB's microphone. The SM7DB gives you that sought-after warm tone that is loved by podcasters, content creators, and vocalists. It produces a wide range flat frequency for a clean and natural output of both vocals and music. And whilst I absolutely will not be singing for you, hopefully you'll get a good idea of the sound in this video. Speaking of, the MVX2U audio interface has software that allows you to perfect your sound. When you first install the software, you will be on the auto level section where you can set your mic position, tone, gain, and more. This section is generally aimed at beginners like myself by adjusting your microphone to suit your chosen preferences. However, after doing some research, these are now the settings that I'm using for this video over on the Manual Settings tab. I have my mic gain set to 56.5 decibels, some slight EQ adjustments as well as a 75Hz high pass filter, limiter enabled and compressor set to light. And as you'd expect for the price, it sounds fantastic. It did take some tweaking to get the settings just right, but once I did, it was quite special. And thanks to the built-in preamp that's new on the SM7DB, you can either add 18 or 28 decibels of low noise gain. So if you're recording quieter vocals, you can crank it up to 28, or if you're recording your guitar, you would likely set it to 18, but again, it takes some tweaking to work with your system and audio interface. Not only that, but this means you will not need an inline preamp, which massively simplifies and declutters your audio setup, which might not sound like a big deal, but it makes a huge difference. And if you want to, you can directly bypass the built-in preamp with the aptly named bypass switch on the base of the microphone, which effectively just runs the SM7DB as a classic SM7B. Speaking of the base of the microphone, not only can you bypass or adjust the preamp, but you can also adjust the low cut and presence boost filters with these handy switches. These will give you a variety of sound signatures that let you really fine tune the tone to your preference. As I mentioned at the start of the video, the Shure SM7DB has a cardioid polar pattern which does an excellent job at isolating your voice from background noises, giving you that crisp and warm output. On that note, let's do a quick test with the pre-installed windshield, large windshield and without, at both near and far distances. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Overall, the mic does a great job, and as expected with a cardioid microphone, it performs much better with your lips practically touching it. And whilst I think all of the close-up tests sounded fantastic, I will be sticking with the standard windshield for the time being, mainly because of the aesthetics. Another really cool thing about this microphone is that it's been built to purposely reduce any buzzing or background noises. This paired with the fact that their internal shock isolation pretty much eliminates any mechanical noise transmission really helps towards the clean 
clean sound that we desire. As well as this, the way the mic is mounted allows for an awesome range of motion to get the perfect microphone position. Unfortunately, with my Rode PSA OnePlus mic arm, there was a bit of an incompatibility with the XLR connection, limiting some of the microphone's movement. I have bypassed this issue by suspending the microphone outwards, but it's worth keeping in mind if you're planning on getting this mic. Overall though, the Shure SM7DB is a fantastic microphone and you will absolutely be happy with it. Although, I'd imagine you'd get a lot more control with a higher end audio interface. Whether or not it's worth the price hike over the SM7B for the preamp is for you to decide, but it's definitely a handy feature to have available and gives you that extra versatility without cluttering your audio solution. The sound is brilliant with plenty of customization available to fine tune to your preferences. From the outstanding build quality to the internal shock mounting, you are getting a consistently warm and smooth audio reproduction that is perfect for vocal and even studio use. A big thanks to Shaw for letting me check out the Shaw SM7DB, but as always, all thoughts and opinions are my own. If you'd like to find out more about the mic, then please check out the links down below. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. And Happy New Year, everyone. Peace.